So before I start, I just want to double check. So you mm -hmm. did Toy Chica, Nightmare Chica, and JJ in FNAF World, right? That's correct, yes. Um, Clara in Sister Location, and Toy Chica in Ultimate Custom Night. Yes, that's correct. Yay! Did I miss any? Nope, you got him. Nice. Okay. It, it's a season finale, guys. It's a season finale of the FNAF show. And a lot of you guys requested Amber last season. We finally got her on. Amber Lee Connors. So, like I just said, the voice actor for Toy Chica, uh, JJ, and Nightmare Chica in FNAF World, Clara in Sister Location, and... Toy Chica again in Ultimate Custom Night, reprising your role. A little bit less annoying in Ultimate Custom Night, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, thank you so much for having me on. It's awesome to be here. <laughs> now, thank you for coming on. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And obviously, everybody does too. You're awesome in Five Nights at Freddy's and your other roles in other games as well and everything you've done. So we're going to be talking about that, not just for now. I'd love to ask you some questions about other things you've been up to as well so yeah should we kick it off with the first question awesome let's do it and thank let's you go. for your kind words i appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> so what inspired you to do voice acting in the first place so wow this is kind of like a rabbit hole but um i've i grew up like i've always like loved video games and, mm -hmm. and animation um funny enough like specifically like survival horror games are my favorite along with yeah. like jrpgs <laughs> yeah. but um when i was a kid i wanted to be laura croft and that is not actually a career you can do <laughs> <laughs> um i mean you so could, i was you like could, you could voice act as laura right well it, it eventually it, it like it leads that way but i was like okay <laughs> well i can't be laura croft Okay, cool. I want to be a paleontologist, but then I realize that doesn't involve shooting dinosaurs like <laughs> Laura Croft. So, <laughs> so um, that was a no go. And um, then I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a psychiatrist. And I like started taking like, Latin and took on um, like sociology, psychology classes. And then. When I was like 15, I was like, mm, I want to be an actor instead. What really like inspired me and like kind of like convinced me to do that is um, my favorite video game of all time is Final Fantasy VIII. Nice. And there are no voices for it on the PlayStation. So um, I would get together with some friends and we would like voice act the game while we were playing it. And I was like, I love this. And yeah. then I sat down and Googled how to become a voice actor. <laughs> no, that's a really <laughs> awesome story. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> When did you start getting roles in voice acting then? So what was like your first roles to start off with, if you remember? <laughs> oh, uh, funny enough, like I do remember. Um, I started um, I, I started Googling like when I was 15, but I didn't mm -hmm. um, really start practicing until I was 16. And um, the first role I ever got was for um, like an indie um, JRPG. I believe it was called like um, Sacred, Sacred Earth Bonds or Something of that sort, but I voiced a character named Mel Melodia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she was like this little like pink haired like demon girl with horns and she was crazy. So that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How long ago was that? So how long have you been doing this? Um I've been voice acting for eleven years now. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> That's like triple my career on here. Uh, that's really awesome. You, you wanted to do it at such a young age and you're still doing it now. Uh, thank you. Like, I, I really strongly believe that like you can do whatever you put your mind to. So if there's something you're interested in, you should just go do it, try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, it, it's never just like a, a, a single thing that you can do because you said uh, before voice acting, you wanted to do other things as well. Mm -hmm, exactly. Through all of the characters you've done in FNAF, Right. Who is your favorite character out of the ones you've done? Oh, this is gonna like sound like really biased, I guess, but like mm. I really love Toy Chica and specifically like UCN Toy Chica because she's like more creepy yeah, and murderous. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, that character was extremely interesting because um, it was it was so different of what Scott usually does, right? So mm -hmm. it was set in a, a school and Toy Chica was luring. <laughs> victims to uh you know like pretending to be nice at first and then eventually we gathered that toy chica kind of uh possibly killed them all and shoved them in a backpack so lovely <laughs> <laughs> she definitely did <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you have a favorite character that you didn't voice in fnaf or would it still be toy chica that's like that's a really good question like i 
really like a lot of the characters and mm -hmm. i think all the voice actors have like done like a fantastic job yeah. um i think one of my I, one of my favorites is like is it froggy is that her name yes like the, the, froggy yes yeah, happy frog. i happy love frog. froggy yeah. so much <laughs> yeah she's she's kind of got a similar voice to you as well like she acts all cute and stuff but inside she's uh evil <laughs> yes i love i love it i love yeah. it yeah <laughs> how did you feel when you saw uh toy chica in the cut scenes like because you like obviously when you do voice acting you just see the voice mm -hmm. lines at first and then you do them and then you send them to scott so what was your initial reaction when you saw the like the actual cut scenes like done and polished <laughs> oh man well like i was i was blown away yeah like I, I love it for one but um originally like um i had already like finished recording for the animatronic toy chica mm -hmm. for ucn and um i finished that and then he contacted me again and was like hey i want to do this thing and i had like no idea like what the, the the context really was like he explained it a little bit um but like just like oh yeah like diary entries and like you know like high school stuff i'm like okay cool so yeah. <laughs> i tried to take what i did for the animatronic version and like okay well if this animatronic chicken was <laughs> in an anime <laughs> what would it sound like yeah. <laughs> so um yeah it was wild i think i think they're, the cutscenes are absolutely hysterical when scott told you about this was you thinking is is this really five nights at freddy's have you, have you got the have you got the right <laughs> script <laughs> <laughs> well i i figured it was like something similar to like um the scenes with Clara and Vlad. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, this is probably like some like silly little Easter egg. And I, I was like, this is great. I love it. Yeah. People are gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did. <laughs> Do you have a favorite line or anything from any of the characters? Um, I think my my favorite one is um the, oh, oh gosh, the line where she like wants to eat the player. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one's that one's my favorite. <laughs> Let's go somewhere more private. <laughs> that exactly. Yeah, yeah. That so... was spot on. Oh, thank do, you. <laughs> do, do do your voice toy chica. I I don't know. You should tell somebody that <laughs> that I can do that. You you make but... a really good toy chica. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether you've seen the replies to the tweet. By the way, a lot of people, and I mean, I'd, I'd say about half of the tweets on this. Okay. Are saying, uh, will we ever get tired of your voice? Will we ever get tired of your voice? Are you gonna, <laughs> ever going to get tired of your voice? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts about the movie? Have you have you seen that there's going to be a FNAF movie coming out in the future? Um, I've heard that. I yeah. have no idea anything like about it, but um, I oh, think yeah. it'll be yeah, I, I know, interesting. I know. I'm just I just wanted to know your thoughts on it. Um, I think it'll be like really cool. Like I'm interested in seeing how they're gonna like take it because like the game is obviously like a first person like player perspective mm. so i'm interested like how they're gonna like kind of tell the story and like what they're gonna do in like a film people have said how did you get the role um we kind of know that you've just basically said it you auditioned for the right. three voices so you didn't have to audition for toy chica scott i'm guessing scott contacted you saying hey can you voice toy chica again in ultimate in the new project i'm doing um surprisingly um no like i um oh. yeah i actually did audition for toy okay. chica again um and it was like it was like one of the days like um because i hadn't been like very active on voices for a while mm. and um i saw the posting go up and i was like oh hang on this is my character oh no yeah. so like i scrambled You've to like get, get my it. audition in yeah yeah um but i figured like i thought like um because it is a different version like i'm not surprised that the audition did go up but i'm very happy to have my murderous robo chicken back <laughs> <laughs> i love her very much <laughs> yeah how do you feel personally about toy chica what do you think about toy chica in general i really like her and um i kind of like try to like toe the line of like creepy and slightly sexual with her yeah, lines yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um because i i feel like that's like the most unsettling and then again because like i didn't know about like anime toy chica until mm -hmm. after i did like the um, animatronic version and i'm like okay cool so i'm like i'm going in like the right direction because she clearly is boy crazy or yeah. uh, not even like boy crazy just relationship crazy <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah but, like because you, you did it with that personality like makes it more believable she lures the people like the characters in the anime she lures them into the classroom mm -hmm. and stuff like that and 
it works perfectly with the character. Oh, thank you. So, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody thinks the same as well. What other projects are you working on at the moment? Have you got anything exciting are you to look forward to? Yeah, there's um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on currently that um, I can't talk about, but I'm yeah. I'm trying to th to think about stuff that I can. Yeah, like I usually like uh, keep people up to date like on social media about mm -hmm. stuff that's going on. I'm Amber Lee Connors on Twitter, guys. Send me memes. I love <laughs> memes. <laughs> so you said that you like anime. What's your favorite anime? Um, this is, this is very difficult to like pick one. So I'm just going to give you like a quick spread. Okay. Go, go, um, go. I love Future Diary. I love Gantz. I love Sarano Zetsubo Sensei. I love Nichijo. It's, if it's like really like dark and messed up or like a really good comedy, that's usually, <laughs> usually my favorites. That's awesome. You said that you're into video games as well. So... Yes. What's your list of favorite video games at the moment? Okay, well, Final Fantasy VIII is always going to be at the top. Yeah. Um, but I love um, all the Fatal Frame games. I love Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3. Oh, goodness. Uh, uh, Lapis L Tactics, like Disgaea series, like mainly like survival horror, like JRPGs <laughs> and uh, tactical like strategy games are yeah. my jam. And I also love Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy IX. And Final Fantasy I just Seven, keep, six, yeah, just five, keep droning four. on. <laughs> Are you interested in the lore or? Yeah, I went down like a rabbit hole, like of just like reading like Reddit's and like you know uh, wikis and stuff because it's it's surprisingly deep. There's a lot to unpack there. Mm -hmm. um, but I love it. Like I love like the subtleties and you know like the how everything can have a meaning. And um, what are your plugs? So uh, you, your Twitter's Amber Lee Connors, right? Do you have yes. a YouTube channel? Do you have a Twitch channel? If you go to my website, www.amberleeconnors.com, you can find links to my YouTube, my Instagram. Um, everything should just be like at Amber Lee Connors. Yeah, if I miss something, <laughs> you'll be able I'll, to find yeah, it through I'll, there. I'll, and I'll put, I'll put it in the description of the video, guys. So Awesome. Yay. So at the end of every FNAF video uh, with the voice actor, we do mm -hmm. something called the voice actor challenge. And and because I don't think I've voiced a single female this season, you know. <laughs> Usually with the male uh, voice actors, we pick male voice actors. M okay. Male characters in Ultimate Custom Night. So basically, I say, let's do a voice for Happy Frog. And we both do our different voices for okay. that character. Okay. Sure. Yeah? Yeah, let's Are do you it. Sure? I'm down. <laughs> I just like do we have lines? Like what what do we do? <laughs> um yeah, so I'll I'll get a happy frog line upright. Okay. And then we both say it. Not at the same time, obviously. I'm gonna let you take the stage and you can go first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Move over, Freddy Fazbear. Happy Frog is a new star of the show. Wow. Well, <laughs> I, I'm just gonna leave because um <laughs> I already know. <laughs> I already know. I've lost this challenge. Now this is a thing. This is why it's embarrassing because the voice actors are amazing, and then I have to embarrass <laughs> myself in front of royalty to sound like an idiot. No, there's there's no such thing as, as oh, sounding yeah. like an idiot. Oh god. And acting. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm a boy, so I I, I can't really. Uh, <laughs> I'll try. But you'll probably hear a few voice cracks, so uh, I'd, I'd take your headphones off. <clears throat> this is my female voice for Happy Frog. Move over, Freddy Fazbear. Was that good? That was glorious. You no, didn't do the rest I'm, of the line, though. I'm joking. Uh, listen, I, I love it. <laughs> I mean, okay, so Happy Frog is a frog. Hey, that's true. So, yeah, exactly. Yes. Like, you, what, you were going the right direction being, with it. I was being realistic. That's what I'm You were totally, you are being like. method. Okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it again then. I'm, I'm gonna yes, pretend do it, to be do a it. frog. A miserable frog. Yeah, like you're like in the mud, just like in yeah, the Yeah, like in the mud. mud, yeah. Move over, Freddy Fazbear. Miserable Toad is the new star of the show. Aw, I can, I can hear him in the mud. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> Miserable Toad is my new favorite FNAF character. Yeah, Miserable Toad is now a new character <laughs> in Ultimate Custom Night. I'm thinking of a, one more character. 
And sure. Then, and then can you teach me how to do Toy Chica's voice? I will, I will do my best. Uh, what about baby? What about baby? Sure, let's be babies. Okay. <laughs> no, no, the animatronic. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to go first this time? Yeah, you get to go first this time. Oh, God. <laughs> right. It feels like my birthday. Did you have a gift for me? <laughs> I'm surprised you get your voice so high. Thank you. I know. That's awesome. Everybody says it just sounds like an old granny. I mean, maybe, that's a pretty maybe, good granny. Hey, maybe it could be baby when she's 70 years old. Hey. Look, there you go. We're, we're switching it up. The yep. AU. So this is baby. <laughs> um, 70 years after the incident at Sister Location. She's grown old. <laughs> she's, she's got a lot of knowledge now. She lives in a, a house alone, baking cookies. For the mm. orphanage down the road, Grandma Baby. There you go. It's canon now. Perfect. It's canon. It feels like my birthday. Did you have a gift for me? Perfect. Oh, good, good. Perfect. It worked. <laughs> Could you teach me the ways of Toy Chica? Okay. So the thing about Toy Chica is that she's going to be higher up than your throat, and then you're going to bring her back a little bit. But you still want to keep the mouth small because you want because she's got a beak. Like, she's got a beak. Ah. Uh. There's this thing that, like, if you have the chicken wisps, it actually raises your voice up higher. Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 like that. So, That's too high. And then, and then you want to you wanna get, like, small beak mouth, small beak mouth, small beak mouth. Small beak mouth. Yeah, like small beat. Now you want to get creepy. Because so you just kind of like, wow, I'm going to chill. Shall I do my interpretation of Toy Chica instead? That's perfectly fine. But that's how you do it, girls or boys. That's how to do Toy Chica's voice if you want to try it. I can't okay, do it. You just need a little beak and the chicken wisps. Yeah, you just need a beak and chicken wisps to sound exactly <laughs> like that. This would be my interpretation, okay? Could you give me something to say? Sure. I'll type it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm so ready. So, I would kind of make it sound something like this. Like, the typical girl who goes to Starbucks every day and gets a latte with soy milk, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> where's my beak? Lodged in your forehead, of course. <laughs> I can hear the beak, and I can hear her little schoolgirl shirt, so <laughs> I call that a win. That's the best I can do. I hope I didn't disappoint you all for the finale. I, I think that's, like, the best finale. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> no, this, this interview has been freaking awesome. An absolute pleasure uh, to finally speak to you. Thanks for coming on. I really do appreciate it, and everybody does, too, who's watching. You're well, awesome. Of course, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. This has been super Super fun. Thank you for all your questions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That your answers were really awesome. I, lo I loved, I loved like everything you talked about, especially when oh, you said about Tomb Raider and you wanted to do like voice acting and stuff. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Make sure to check out Amber, guys. She's freaking awesome. Her website and all the links will be in the description down below. So please make sure you check her out. And again, thank you so much for coming on. It's been awesome, an absolute pleasure. Guys, remember, the song comes out next week. As always, when the season ends, a song comes out the week after as a big bang finale. Thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Lots of love. Thanks for watching the whole season. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.